Hey everyone, the trades are happening right now. Alex Newhook traded from the Avalanche to the Montreal Canadiens in exchange for a first round pick, a second round pick, and Fairbrother defenseman. Uh, I think he's like 22 years old, but Alex Newhook, man, 22 years old. I think this trade's really interesting. A lot of people on Twitter already are saying the Montreal Canadiens got fleeced here. I somewhat disagree. So the first round pick here was from the Ben Sherratt trade, the Florida Panthers 31st overall here in this upcoming 2023 NHL draft, the second round pick, uh, and yeah, fair brother. So I think Newhook here, 16th overall in the 2019 draft, 30 points last year with the Avalanche. He hasn't really shown those big signs, big steps of being a consistent top six guy. He's only 22 years old though. He just turned 22 in January. At 20 years old and at 21, he was showing over a point per game in the AHL. And I mean, the expectations in Colorado, like you're jumping in there. So I think with Montreal, especially with the growing core, a lot of guys in that range of 21, 22, 23 years old, this is gonna be a great opportunity for Newhook. A lot of guys on this team that are in that draft class, I think Newhook's gonna find some uh, comfortability here and be able to fit in the Montreal Canadiens. But it also shows that the Habs are not done and far from done. Like they're gonna make a lot of trades here to open up space because they just re-signed Sean Monaghan. They have Newhook now. I mean, guys like Armia, Hoffman, like I expect some of these guys to get moved or them to just figure it out because <laughs> there's only so many roster spots and lineup spots on night one. So I think Newhook's gonna have a good opportunity here with Montreal. We'll see if they can figure out what the contract situation's looking like. And yeah, I mean, at 22 years old, I mean, 30 points, like, guys, let's be patient. Let's be patient. So, you know what? I think this is a very great return from Colorado in terms of they acquired Ryan Johansson for basically nothing, got him 50% retained. So got an experienced guy for their win now mode. And Newhook, who they were hoping to be their second line center, is not ready for that role yet. So what do they do? They get the 31st overall of this deep draft and a second round pick in the draft it's looking good for Colorado. They could attach those two picks for either a different player or to move up in the draft. They could take their pick here, but I'm just saying Colorado is looking pretty nice right now in terms of the assets they just got back. And in terms of the top six going into next year, yes, Landeskog is injured, but it's looking good for them. I, I don't like the Montreal got fleeced here though, because I've watched enough of Alex Newhook to know that there's still a lot of potential there. And I think the fact that he just turned 22 earlier this year, um, and showed that kind of production in a limited role in Colorado. I think let's give him a shot here in Montreal. And I think some people will eat their words a little bit here. Yeah, you know what? Heavy price, but it's a late first round pick that you literally got for Ben Sherratt. You never should have got a first round pick for Ben Sherratt regardless. <laughs> so the fact that they just used that plus a second to get a, a former 16th overall pick only what, three, four years ago. So I think W both ways potentially. We'll see. Montreal obviously paid the price, but they're now moving forward with this young core. Uh, they have so many prospects in their pool. So they're not necessarily needing to draft 10 or 11 prospects anymore in a draft class. They are confident with their young prospect pool and they want to keep bringing in guys in their 20, 21, 22 year old range uh, to build with this young core. So give me your thoughts in the comments, subscribe, like, notification bell, all that good stuff. Let me know who you think wins this trade and more trades to come, more videos to come. We're, we're recording the podcast tonight and I will be live uh, for a draft recap. I'll be live all day for free agency and uh, yeah, just more content to come. See you soon. Peace.